Richard here again. You know, for the remainder of this video, you're not gonna see a whole lot of me, but you will hear a lot of me because I wanna show you proof that something significant is going to happen on or around September 23rd, 2017. Now, I'm not claiming I know what's going to happen. I just know something significant is going to happen. The numbers don't lie and the Bible doesn't lie and everything lines up to around September 23rd, 2017. But I'm gonna let you decide on what you believe is going to happen because I have no idea. So let's get started. Revelation 12 verses one through four. The woman and the dragon. A great sign appeared in heaven. A woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and a crown of 12 stars on her head. She was pregnant and cried out in pain as she was about to give birth. Then another sign appeared in heaven. An enormous red dragon with seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns on its heads. Its tail swept a third of the stars out of the sky and flung them to the earth. Over 2,000 years ago, a star appeared over the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We've come to know that star as the Star of Bethlehem. On June 30th of 2015, the Star of Bethlehem made an appearance. What we have learned, it is not actually a star at all, but it is two planets that perfectly align and those planets are Jupiter and Venus. And when they align, they appear as a very bright star. After King Herod found that Jesus Christ had been born, he ordered that all boys be killed that are two years old and younger. Scholars and theologists are estimating that it took approximately two years for Herod to learn of the birth of Christ. And that's why he ordered the death of all boys two years old and younger. So two years from June 30th, 2015, puts us into the year 2017. Grant Matthews, a professor of theoretical astrophysics and cosmology in the Department of Physics at the University of Notre Dame says, and I quote, even calculating 500,000 years into the future says no alignment like the one known as the Christmas star could be found. April 15th, 2014 was the first sign of the blood moon. Approximately 1260 days later, you come to September 23rd, 2017, and according to biblical calendars, that there is 360 days in a year, not 365 like the days of a calendar we use today. That puts us at September 23rd, 2017. In the book of Revelation, John was given signs, and almost all those signs fall under 1260 days to three and a half year calculations. December 25th, 2016, the planet Jupiter, also known as the King Planet because it is the largest in our solar system, entered into the womb of the constellation Virgo. On approximately September 23rd, 2017, will be nine months, and Jupiter will be exiting Virgo like a baby coming out of the womb of a mother in nine months. It sounds a lot like Revelation 12, when the woman gives birth. This is the constellation Leo. Notice that it has nine stars. The constellation Leo always sits above the constellation Virgo. Constellation Leo is a lion and if you translate that, that could be the Lion of Judah. Virgo constellation, also known as Virgin, we could translate that into the Virgin Mary. Jupiter, we know as the king planet because it is the largest planet in our solar system. You can represent that, the king planet, as the king, Jesus Christ. Thus, Virgo, the virgin, is giving birth to Jupiter, the king. 
On September 23, 2017, according to astronomers, the moon is going to be at the feet of Virgo and the sun will be by her head. And Jupiter, also known as the king planet, will be exiting her like a baby coming out of a mother's womb. At her head, there will be a crown of 12 stars, which is Leo, who is always above Virgo, with nine stars. But on September 23rd, 2017, you'll also have Mercury, Mars, and Venus lined up next to Leo, completing the 12 star crown. The sun at her head and the moon at her feet. 2017 is also the Jubilee year for Israel. Leviticus 25, 8 through 13 states, You shall count off seven Sabbaths of years, seven times seven years, and there shall be to you the days of seven Sabbaths of years, even forty-nine years. You shall sound the loud trumpet on the tenth day of the seventh month. On the day of atonement, you shall sound the trumpet throughout all your land. You shall make the 50th year holy and proclaim liberty throughout the land to all its inhabitants. It shall be a jubilee to you, and each of you shall return to his own property, and each of you shall return to his family. The 50th year shall be a jubilee to you. Now, 50 years ago from 2017 was 1967, and that was the liberation of Jerusalem, the Six-Day War. So from the Six-Day War of 1967, 50 years later, 2017 is their jubilee. So far, in 2015, the Star of Bethlehem appeared. Two years later puts us at 2017. We add the two years because the time it took King Herod to learn of the birth of Jesus. We also have all the stars aligning just as Revelation 12 says they would on September 23rd, 2017. We also have the first blood moon of April 2014, 1260 days later, puts us at approximately September 23rd, 2017. We also have the year of Jubilee. From 1967, the Six Day War, 50 years later, puts us at 2017. We have the constellation Virgo, giving birth to King Jupiter. We have the sun at her head, the moon at her feet, and Leo with Mercury, Jupiter and Mars lined up to give her the 12 crowns just as described in Revelation 12. Now let's move on to Revelation 12 where it speaks of the dragon coming after the woman and hurling stars at the earth. Scientists claim that 2017 will be one of the best years for meteor showers. Scientists speculate that Nibiru only comes around approximately every 3,000 years. They pictured Nibiru as a big red planet, also known as Planet X, kind of like the red dragon out of Revelation 12. Planet X, also known as Nibiru, is nine times the mass of planet Earth. Scientists claim that due to the massive gravity pull from Nibiru and its distance to Earth could possibly slow down the rotation of the Earth. Now this doesn't hurt anyone on Earth, but it will slow down the gravitational pull, which will slow down our rotation. November of 2017, Nibiru is supposed to make an orbit around Earth. Approximately 3,000 years ago, Joshua was told that the sun would stand still until he defeated the army before him. 
Theologists and scholars now believe it was Nibiru making a pass by Earth, slowing down the rotation of the Earth and letting the sun stay on high for 12 hours. Scientists claim that when Nibiru passes by Earth, the mass and gravitational pull from Nibiru will bring a tail of comets and a tail of meteors and asteroids towards the Earth, creating meteor showers. This sounds an awful lot like the red dragon whose tail will hurl stars upon the Earth in Revelation 12. So now we have five astronomically correct incidents that will happen on or approximately around September 23rd, 2017. One, we had the Star of Bethlehem. Two, we had the first blood moon and the last blood moon. Three, it is the year of Jubilee. Four, the stars are going to align. And five, Nibiru, Planet X, will make its return. Well, there you have it, folks. Five signs that point to on or around September 23rd, 2017. Now, I can't say what is going to happen. I'm not going to sit there and pretend I know what's going to happen. I'm not going to sit there and say, oh, it's the rapture or it's the beginning of tribulations or the Antichrist is going to come around. I'm not going to predict because I don't know. At the very least, what I do know is that it is a sign that Revelation 12 has come to pass, and I do believe that. God tells us to look for signs in the stars and in the heavens, and I do believe those are signs. Leave comments below and let me know what you believe it to be. You all have a blessed week, and keep spreading the gospel of Jesus.